Undoubtedly, the most emotional scene of the eighth episode of the House of the Dragon was the moment in which Daemon Targaryen helped his brother, King Viserys, to ascend to the throne. It was a moment in which we saw how Viserys finally understood which were his royal allies. But behind this scene, much can be hidden that will affect the future of this series. So in this video, we will be analyzing all the implications of this scene for the future of the House of the Dragon. If you want to know this and more, stay tuned to this video. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. Before we start with this analysis, if you want to participate in our Funka Pops giveaway and the book Fire and Blood, just subscribe to this channel, like this video, and tell us which character you think should be king, and why. The winner will be revealed on October 20th. To understand the symbolisms and meanings of this scene, we must first understand the relationship between the characters. From the first episode of the House of the Dragon, we can see what appears to be a competition between Daemon and Viserys. Daemon appears to be an ambitious person, who constantly gets into trouble. King Viserys, on the other hand, is a peaceful person, who prefers to spend his days enjoying himself, and not thinking about war, or negative things. He prefers to spend his days reading books, lost in the stories of ancient Valyria and the exploits of Aegon the Conqueror. Viserys has managed to reach the Iron Throne, through a peaceful succession. When Viserys comes to power, he does not know what it is to be a king. But one person ruled the Seven Kingdoms, while the former king spent his days lying in bed. Otto Hightower, in the last days of King Jacqueries, sat on the throne to make the decisions for the kingdom. At the time Viserys took over as king, Otto's control continued. Otto made the decisions, and influenced Viserys. This never pleased his brother Daemon. Otto knew that the number one enemy in the council for his own cause, was Daemon. And he tried to get him as far away from his brother Viserys as he could. We watched as Otto began to poison Viserys' ears, against his brother, and told him that Daemon had mocked the loss of his wife and son's lives. Viserys, hurt by his brother's betrayal or mockery, decided to send him to his wife. But Daemon warned him of something going on in the kingdom. Viserys was being manipulated by the council. To Daemon, Viserys is weak and needs his protection. He considers Otto to be an opportunist, a second brother who wishes to gain power. Ironically, Daemon knows this, because he too, is a second brother. Daemon knows that everything he has, he has had to earn through hard work and dedication. Daemon knows that Otto is willing to do anything, so that his family will be the one in power in Westeros. Later, King Viserys realizes that there was some truth to Daemon's words, after Rhaenyra asks him to dismiss Otto. Viserys confronts Otto, and removes him from his position. Viserys had had enough of manipulation. Meanwhile, Daemon returned to King's Landing, and then was banished. This happened several times. Daemon appeared to seek to be King of King's Landing. He appeared to disrespect his brother. But maybe that's just because that's the way he is. We then saw how Laris, the clubfoot, conspired to make his father and brother disappear, which vacated the position of the King's Hand. Something that triggered the return of Otto Hightower. But time, eventually weakened Viserys. The disease, little by little, took his life, and the Hightowers, by order of the Maesters, gave him poppy milk. Something that kept Viserys numb, so as not to suffer the pains of his illness. But it also prevented him from reigning. During the last years, it has been Alicent, with the help of his father, who have taken all the decisions of the kingdom. Time has proven Daemon right, and Rhaenyra begs Viserys to defend her. Although Viserys can hardly stand up for himself, he decides to defend his heiress. Viserys' entrance into the throne room was something no one expected. It shows a man on the verge of losing his life, but fighting to keep his family together. Viserys understands in that moment that the Hightowers have been reigning for a long time, and that at least that day, he would be king. But Viserys also feels alone. He has always been in the middle of the fights between Rhaenyra and Alicent. His family is divided. Perhaps this division is represented in Viserys' face. 
Half of his face has rotted away from disease, but he wears a mask to keep up appearances. The same is happening in the Targaryen family. Half the family is divided and at war, but they still keep up appearances. They all wait for the moment when Viserys' end comes to make their political moves. Viserys can barely climb the Iron Throne, and his crown falls to the ground. This represents the entire path of Viserys. His reign, although not a difficult one, his internal struggle with the crown has cost him his health. The crown on the ground symbolizes that Viserys no longer has the strength to be king. But Daemon helps him. Viserys allows himself to be helped by his brother, for he is perhaps one of the few people he really trusts. We can see that when Viserys tells Otto that he will be the one to sit on the throne on that occasion, Otto walks away and does not help him. Only Daemon helps his brother and puts the crown on him. Daemon puts the crown on him, as a symbol of appreciation to the king, letting everyone in the room know that he believes the true king is Viserys, and that he alone should be on the throne. Although it is a scene full of emotions, it is a direct sign that Daemon is willing to defend his family and give them the honor they deserve. Daemon even ended the life of Vaemon Valerian, a person he had fought hand in hand with in Stepstones. Just because Vaemon insulted Rhaenyra and her children. We can say that in the scenes of the throne, the intentions of many people were revealed, and the alliances that we can already appreciate from each side. We saw Viserys, who for the last time tried to remedy the conflict in his family. We saw a daemon who turned out to be right, who helped his brother and defended his wife's honor. And some Hightowers making decisions to advance their agendas. Another interesting thing about this scene, is that after Daemon took Vaemon's life, Otto asked the guards to disarm Daemon. But if we notice, when Vaemon insulted Rhaenyra, King Viserys took the dagger and asked for Vaemon's tongue. Daemon followed the king's orders. By Otto asking for Daemon to be disarmed, he is not only disobeying the king, but he is revealing that he feels Daemon is a threat to them, and wishes to stop him. With the end of Viserys, the Dance of the Dragons has begun. The mask will fall, and the true face of the Targaryen's family will be shown to the Seven Kingdoms. The greatest battle in the history of Westeros is about to begin. Viserys wondered how the people would remember him. Some will remember him as a bad king, who spent his days at banquets or making his maquettes. Others would remember him as a great leader, who tried to keep the kingdom together, but could not keep his family together. How will you remember King Viserys? Will you remember him as a great leader, or are you one of those who think Viserys is a bad king? And for more Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon videos, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You're on, the Three-Eyed Raven.